Hey guys, so today I'm going to unbox an iPhone SE, first generation. So, this iPhone SE, I have it for 3 years and I don't know why but I didn't film the unboxing and right now I want to film the unboxing. And also you notice know, like the seal thing here. And no, this is not brand new. This has been open. At least I still can do the unboxing though. Also, I decided to film in a old way that I used to film. Like the iPhone 6s unboxing, which is the last unboxing video that I made in this kind of method. Also, the iPhone 6s still works. After almost 4 years, here's the 6s. Still works. And here's the box. So, yeah, this one's still with me. And it still runs iOS 13. Which you can see right here, it still runs 13.3.1. It's the 32 gig model and also, mmm, battery life is not that great. Look at this, 71% and somehow I didn't want to change the battery, but whatever. I mean, it's not that I'm using this phone, but I'm still keeping it and also look at the condition. Mmm, not good. But anyways, here's the iPhone SE, so let's unbox it, so let's just pull this thing. Put it on the side, like here I guess. So, here's the phone. I mean you guys seen this exact phone for like what couple of videos now and I will put the phone to the side for now. Let's like, stick out this thing and here's the ear parts, the lightning to USB A cable and the 5 watt brake. When was the last time you seen this? I've not used this thing for ages. Oh by the way all of these stuff they are not originally from this phone, they are originally from the 6s but whatever it's pretty much the same thing anyway. Here's the pamphlet thing. Let's see what it comes with. You get a SIM tray right here, which it looks different because most of the budget iPhones come with this kind of SIM tray, but the one that's like flagship, they comes with this kind of SIM tray, and this is from the iPhone 13. So inside we got the this two paper. Since I live in Malaysia, we get two languages. So on this pamphlet, it shows the buttons and stuff in two languages: English and Malay. So on the back, it says, welcome to iPhone, blah, blah, blah. I doubt anyone reading this, actually. And here's the iPhone info in English and in Malay. And also, you get two Apple stickers. Which nowadays, if you get a new iPhone, you only get one sticker. This is from iPhone 13 Pro Max, by the way. Apple, why you only give one sticker? Give us two, please. Remember when iPhone boxes used to be, like, thick? Like, look at this. And this is what we get now. Like, what? You at least need like two iPhone boxes to fill up this thing. Also, I have like what three iPhone SE. So I got one in gold, I got one in space gray, I got one in silver, and I used to have one in rose gold, but then I sold that thing. I'm gonna show this one instead of this one because this one is in better condition. Also, this thing has been factory reset, and I did not reset this thing. Both of these are running iOS 15, by the way. Nothing special. This one, I think it runs iOS 40 point something. This thing's broken, no longer works. All right, so this one is finally boot up. There's nothing special on this phone, but I still use this phone sometimes. I also still use this thing, by the way. But I rarely use this one, so this thing also has a brand new battery, which you guys can see in that video. So I boot this thing up and three, two, one. So as you can see, boot up this fast, which I don't think is bad for a 6 year old phone. On iOS 15, they introduced this new look, the new setup. So yeah, let's set up this thing. There we go, the iPhone is finally set up. So let's go to general and about. This iPhone is running 15.7.5, which is the latest version for this phone. And when this phone was first launched, it comes with iOS 9. I think it's 9.3. So this update was released on this date, which honestly, still crazy when thinking about a six year old iPhone still get update. Also, this is the 128 gigabyte model. So this is basically the fully loaded. So this is iOS 15 and yeah, when it comes to modern standard nowadays, this phone is really tiny. Like, take a look at these two, like, this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max and this is like really tiny. But yeah, this, this phone is like so light and this one is like 
heavy. This one is made of stainless steel and this one is made of aluminum. I will install some of the apps like Geekbench and stuff cause why not? Cause that's what I did on that video. So I've installed some of the apps like Antutu, Speedtest and Geekbench 6 which is the current one. So let's do Geekbench 6 and it shows the specs. Once again this thing runs iOS 15.7.5. Um, this thing has A9 which the same chip as the iPhone 6s but I think this is the TSMC version as there are two A9 chip. There's one with the Samsung chip and there's this the TSMC. Also this thing has 2GB of RAM so let's start with the CPU benchmark. This is my first time using Geekbench 6 so also I'm not expecting the score to be high but we'll see. So it finally shows the result. So single core is 533 and multi core is 784. Well, I wonder if it shows like, oh, it doesn't show. Uh, doesn't show the history. Anyway, so that's the score. Not that impressive for today's standards, but for a six year old phone, this is okay. And I will try and do two later to let it cool down. Also, you can watch YouTube on this thing. Let's say, let's watch this video. All right, so I have this car that still uses cassette and I don't want to change the hate unit because this car is 22 years old plus it's the original hate. For speakers, okay. By the way, this is not a stereo speaker. It's just this side. But anything above iPhone 7, you get a speaker from the earpiece. And yeah, you still can watch YouTube, but only up to 1080p, even though this video is 4K. Speaking about 4K, you can actually record in 4K 30 frames, which you can see right here. Also slow-mo at 720p at 240 frames per second. The reason why it can record 4K 60, which is this thing has 12 megapixel camera. Even though the chassis of this one is based on the iPhone 5S, but the internal of this phone is literally from the iPhone 6S. Well, beside the battery though. Any modem, cause the modem is literally from an iPhone 6. Even though it's from an iPhone 6, it still get a decent speed. Okay, let's do a speed test. Uh, I mean the speed though, um, it's going up, down, up, down, up, down. Also, this room gets like, what, 120 average on Wi-Fi. Here's the result. So the 8.5 for download and 121 for upload. It is not that bad though for a 6 year old phone. Also, most of the apps for this phone, particularly if this phone is running iOS 15, they still get update. For some reason, if you're like, you have to use this phone for a while, you still can use it since most of the apps still get updates. Let's do some random camera tests. Like, mm, let's say I'm gonna take a picture of this. And also some selfies, cause why not? Also, you saw that flash thing earlier. Well, basically, this feature was only available on iPhone 6s and then Apple bring it to this phone. That's another cool thing if you take a picture in the dark, but for some reason it detected even though my room is not that dark. Speaking about the front-facing camera, this front-facing camera, if I remember correctly, it has 1.3 megapixels, so it's not that good, but hey, I mean, for 2016, it does its job, basically. So let's do a recording test with an iPhone SE. As you can see, I'm recording this part of the video with a front-facing camera, um, 1.2 megapixel once again. Um, this only records in 1080p 30 frames, not like the real 4K 30, but I mean, it does its job. Um, lighting not that great though, let's get some better lighting and yeah, um, basically just doing its job. Alright, so I'm in my tiny out car. Wait, hold on, the lighting is not good. good. I just turned on the flash on this thing. So, um, I'm in my tiny out car again, and I just got this thing, this 
of course it's called the I'll just put it right here some of you may remember that I got this thing for this car but you know what I decided to give this a try so this thing is way convenient than that adapter because you don't need to use the cassette thing all you do is just use your USB port if you have a car charger in an old car um, put whatever frequency that's on and you put it here and Bye, tiny out car. All right, so this one's finally cool down, and let's do a N22 benchmark. I've never seen anyone do N22 benchmark anymore, but I don't know why not. Let's just do it anyway. This is so laggy. <laughs> Good thing this camera's still fine. Alright, so the score is this much. Um, I'm not sure this is good enough, but since N22 is basically based on graphics most of the time, probably not great. Well, do I recommend buying this phone in 2023? Well, it's yes and no. Here's why I say yes. Well, first of all, if you're an iPhone collector or if you just want to have this phone as your second phone as of right now, go for it. And make sure you get at least like 64 gigabyte. 32 gigabyte is doable, but not enough storage. Don't get 16 though. iOS 15 already took like 10 gigabytes. And here's why I say no, do not get this phone. While doing those tests earlier, as you can see, the battery drain a lot. So this battery is like brand new by the way, and you can see it's not that great. Screen on time, 40 minutes. From like 80% now, 47, not that good. And most of the iPhone SE you find out there has a lower battery health, like less than 90. So battery performance wise, you wouldn't expect to get same as this. Unless you swap the battery, you, sh you should get similar with this iPhone. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching and bye. This is how I filmed this video. Basically, back then it's a phone, but now the Sony ZV one and it's still doing its geek bench. Really slow, but it's doing its thing.